Hi, I'm Saida Garrett, co-writer of Michael Jackson's Man in the Mirror, and you're listening to Rainbow Country with Mr. Mark Tara. Today on Rainbow Country, the most recent evicted house guest from Big Brother Canada, season 11. House guests, I have the results. Eleven of you voted. One house guest received eleven votes. And as a result, is about to be evicted. Renee, you are safe. Congratulations. John Michael. You've been evicted from the Big Brother Canada Manor. Please get your things and say your goodbyes. John Michael, hello. Hi. Hi. How are you doing? I am well. I am well. Okay. Girl, you just got evicted from the Big Brother Canada oh. house unanimously. She got got, really. She got <laughs> got. <laughs> the vote, unanimous. Does that surprise you? No, it doesn't surprise me at all. I knew it from the moment we sat down. Uh, You kind of get a really good feel of where the votes are going to go. And I think it was just at at this point in the game, you know, it's week one. Like, it was just too risky for people. And I I hate to say that people are playing a scared game right now. And and I don't really think that really captures where people's minds are at. But it would have been the safest choice to send me home instead of, starting this rebellion but man would that have been really good tv if you think about it like oh my gosh i was really rallying up the troops like oh god what a fantasy (laughs) so let's talk about that first hoh competition head of household competition yourself and santina were paired together you helped santina she ultimately won that competition you helped her You both said that you would keep each other safe, yet she nominated you, she backdoored you, and here we are today. Why do you think Santina nominated you, backdoored you? I have uh, some controversial takes on this, Um, but first off, I I do believe that someone got into her head, and, you know, it would be, again, really naive for me to think that this was all Santina's masterful plan to really backdoor me from the very beginning. I think the seed was planted and enough water um, placed on that seed. And with the paranoia that you feel in the house, it, it was enough to to pull off this backdoor. But also controversially, I, I think like just in life in general, when you are Uh, different, if you would, and you showcase strength, Uh, a lot of people will look at that as a threat versus an ally. And it really did come to a surprise for me in the very beginning. Like, why me? There are so many other people here that showcase strength as well and mental capacities to win this game. Why me? Why me? Why me? And it it was actually really, really difficult to process why it was I was the chosen sacrificial lamb if you would you know so quote if i win hoh the guys are going up unquote this is uh a quote of yours that you said in i believe in the scandalo in the pantry uh you said it to zach why did you tell zach that you would target the guys so i haven't watched the episodes yet but when i was having this freak out with zach okay i was actually 
So Zach marinated me. I'm not, I feel like a piece of meat. Call me a steak if you would, but I was marinated by Zachary. Like he really made me feel safe. And I thought I was talking to a friend and I was having this like really awful day where I was thinking like, oh my gosh, she's going to put me up on the block. Like I really feel this. And in this moment of heat, I was, you know, talking to him and I was like, I feel like Santina is going to put me up. And it's so weird because I would rather first put up, I, I would rather go up against the guys than her is really what, what I was trying to um, tra- or sorry, communicate in that moment. And I, the wrong thing stuck. I really didn't think that Zach would take it that way, like genuinely. Um, so if it was the catalyst to my demise, it's a catalyst of my demise, but ultimately that, that's, that was my truth, right? Like that's exactly what I wanted to do. That was the masterful plan. If you would just, I didn't think Zach to be grouped in that category because Zach and I did have a good connection, um, in the house. I mean, after the fact, I realize now that he was so threatened by me. Oof, well, it's, that's a whole different conversation. We can gab about that later. But I, he was just so threatened and he had to take extreme measures to take me out. And that's fine. I, I'll take it as a compliment. So who do you feel most uh, betrayed by, let down by, Santina or, or Zach? Santina really disappointed me. I was like, I really in that bedroom when she came in and sat down and I was asking her why exactly did you put me up why and she couldn't give me a straight answer and I straight up was just like speaking from the heart and I said like in everything that I presented and who I am and what I believe in do you really really think that I would go up against a powerful woman Like, is that not like, have I not said enough to say that I would support you in everything that you're doing, everything that you are? It, it was so bewildering to me. And it was like, get it together, girl. Like I have such high expectations and this is not meeting the the standards of who I thought you were. And, and so, yeah, I, I do feel the most jaded by Santina Um, I'm not even going to say I love her, but no, I don't. I don't. In this moment right now, I need to uh, settle those thoughts. But like, it was just poor play. Like, and and again, it just goes back to like, why me? There are other, other strong players. And I just feel like I was like, I, I was put on this like spotlight that, you know, I, I'm not even going to get to that, but it, I think everyone's sniffing what I'm stepping on and that's enough to say. And I'm sure there's, there'll be a lot of speculation on that as well, but we'll see. I I don't want to speak on her behalf. I'm sure she'll have words when she's out next week. I mean, or uh, the week after, but she can't win. Did you have a, a strategy going into the game originally? I did. Honestly, I, it's so funny because I found myself doing everything I didn't want to do. Like I wanted to go in and I didn't want to win the first competition, right? I wanted to really fly under the radar. I didn't want to tell people who I was really in general. Like I really wanted to pretend like I was just like this, like bubbly. I don't know how to, what does HOH stand for? Like, what does that even mean? But as I'm walking through the doors, I was thinking to myself, I was like, if I do this and I end up walking out week one, I would have so much regrets. I'm so sorry. I would have so many regrets about how I perceived myself to Canada, to to people who uh, potentially were rooting for me and supporting me, my friends, my family would have looked at that and been like, that's so weird in a sense, you know? Um, But I, in that moment that those doors open, I run in and I scream and everyone saw me doing a little uh, swimming in the, in the, you know, in the kitchen. I just promised myself to just be as authentic, as, as authentic as I can be. And I have no regrets doing that and am happy that it played out that way. I, I feel the love and support and it, 
it really, I spoke my truth and I, I love that. I love that, that people, it translated to people in a positive way. So John Michael, this is a gay radio show. And from what I could tell yourself and, and Daniel Clark are both members of the LGBT community. Were, was there any talk at the beginning of the game of, you know, the two gays uh, working together, looking out for each other, anything like that? So we definitely had mutual respect for each other. I mean, there was no way I was going to ever target Daniel. Like that would just be so backwards um, in so many ways to me. Um, We never had an official conversation about the gays should not go up against the gays. Like that's not what we wanted. And Daniel being a fan of the show, he knew how things would play out. And there we did have like this tender moment where I had to speak some truth in him. And I was reminding him like the way that Zach was treating him and how people were like, oh, you're so you're so cuddly. Let me give you a hug. I'm like, girl, you're being marinated. Like, I don't know if you realize you're being marinated. And at one point, there's um, this this moment in the house where I was just like, I need to just chill and listen to people talking. And I'm sitting there and everyone was like, uh, everyone in the room was talking about the people in the house and Daniel wasn't there. And they were like, oh, this is the queen. This is the king. And Zach called Daniel a jester. And I'm like, that is so becoming of you, Zach, like very classy. And I like, I was like, I don't feel right being even part of this conversation, whether he meant what he meant or not. I'm like, this is exactly what I mean. Like, and and I wish I told Daniel that, but I think it would have been a lot more damaging to his confidence than anything else. And I'll, I'm sure I'll have to talk to him about it and 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 what it, it feels wrong that I kept that from him. But ultimately, uh, instead of telling him the details of how people were talking about him, I really, really wanted him to just don't be naive, like remind yourself what's happening here. Like we've seen the show over and over and over again. We know what's happening, you know, and rally with me. And, and, and I spoke to him as a player too, right? Like, even though um, as queer folk, we want to stick together and we are, you know, our chosen family. And, and I love that about us. Um, my campaign to him was that I would never look at that as a, a freebie right? That I respect him as a player, as an individual, and that my whole thing in life is that you are a person before you are anything else. You know, um, Daniel is my friend. um, And that's how I would introduce him to the world because Daniel comes first before he was my friend. And and I'm excited to see him outside of these walls. Um, He's actually really, really funny and um, super, 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 super fun to be around. Just emulates like joy in everything that he does. And I'm so excited to see how he performs. And it was quite inspiring actually seeing him in in the veto competition. I I cried about it in the DR. So (laughs) I don't think you guys got to see that, but I was so inspired, so inspired by him. So I just have a handful of seconds left with you, John Michael. But my last question, best part about being part of Big Brother Canada season 11? The best part of being part of Big Brother season 11? Oh, the cast, say what you will, but our cast was so fa- mm, delicious. They, it was, they're, I'm so sorry to the other house guests. We were, we're the best looking cast. I will I will put up a a Twitter um post about this and we can do a whole poll but I'm telling you now season 11 mm, 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 delicioso John Michael thank you so much for your time thanks for being on the show Of course thank you so much for having me it was such a pleasure Brother Canada airs Tuesdays and Thursdays, 7 p.m. Eastern, and Wednesdays, 9 p.m. Eastern. And for all things Big Brother, simply visit bigbrothercanada.ca. Listener.